yo yo back with something a little bit too um and i guess maybe most of you have seen if you haven't uh there's a new trailer out for the thrones of decay if you haven't watched it i don't know what the if there was any reference to a movie in that one like, there's very often a movie reference in the trailers, but I couldn't see one in that one. And it might be just be me, maybe. I couldn't see one. I don't know. Maybe there is one in there and I just couldn't see it. What are we doing here? Okay, so we're going to be finishing up this campaign. Um, a bit, at least. I think we'll do it today. What are we doing here? Okay, so we're fighting the dwarves from the south, but they don't technically need to die, but they do have a lot of forces. And... Why do you have all my armies down here? We do need to get this Legion of Nagash. That we do need to do. Okay. How much do we have by Slayer King? The pineapples random army is up here. Let's start with that, please. Shifting scale. Uh... Factory? I don't actually know. Yeah, it's probably factory here. Fine. Get away. Uh, okay. Oh, we're making so much money and every resource of every kind, pretty much, too. I already have a wall. Doing here, iron. Weren't I supposed to build iron somewhere that I've built in like 200 million turns? About now? Yes. There. Oh, it's in the DLC? Yeah, it looks like the trailer. So both land ships and thunder barges. I kinda was expecting most of it though. Uh, like unit twice that we got to see at least. And most of it I had. Like I was pretty sure it's gonna be land ship. I was pretty sure about the Hawkland long rifle or whatever they're called, right? The sniper things they showed off in the trailer. Um I was almost guaranteed that it would be Thunder Barges. And I thought Malachi would be the hero. But he is apparently the Lord. I thought Malachi would be the hero. Um, but yeah, so I, in my... I don't know what the other thing was. The Dwarf Artillery thing. I think I've seen it as a mod or something. I can't remember what it's called. But it definitely looked like... Yeah, what I was expecting, pretty much. I did not expect Godric and Felix in the trailer, though. So they might have gotten a rework. From being a kind of just emergency army stuff. Astrat, you're here. Yeah, I did not expect Godric and Felix to be in the trailer. Uh, I don't even know what we're making here. Okay. Like, we're kind of just on the verge of wiping you out. It looks like I actually built this here, so I guess we're continuing with it. Like, I can't imagine they haven't done anything with Godric and Felix, right? If they put them in the trailer. If they actually put them in the trailer, right? They must have done something with them, I feel. They must have done something. Is there anything here? Oh, gold mine. Just money. I... Like, the good thing with Gold Dragon Felix right now is that they are free of upkeep, right? You can get a free stack without the pop-in supply lines. They do actually share XP with... Um, they share the XP you gain on them, they share with the rest. But you do have to wait for them to come in again, which is pretty annoying, right? 
Like, uh, you have them for 20 turns, then you have to wait for them to spawn again, and then, then you get them again. Ooh. Hungrim so. no sitting way. in his... Oh, his capital's been stacked. It's only tier 2. I didn't even realize that capital was stacked. Okay, two stacks up there. The Slayer King ain't too big. Yeah. It's also one of the reasons I was kind of with the, the request to campaigns we do right now, and I don't know if I will be able to finish any of them before patching stuff comes in. Because of the early access thingies. The goblin humor? Maybe it was. I, I feel like I've seen it in like a mod or something. Goblin humor. I guess it could have been goblin humor. It looked like it shot, shot lights at least. Like I'm making so much crap right now, it doesn't even matter what I do. There's a Volkmar down here. He's the Kazakh Did I get Volkmar from you? We have killed so, so many dudes with uh, in this campaign though. No. Yeah, I actually gotten super much great. But yeah. I don't know if the demogriffs they showed was something new or just that they had demogriffs in too. Because it looked like demogriffs, the knight dude riding on it, right? I, I, I was thinking it might be the new hero for Empire, rides on a demogriff. Maybe? I don't actually know if that was just like scenery or if that was something new. Because to me it looked like there's standard demogriffs, right? Critical success. Your army is pretty garbage, but we can probably do. Alright, not garbage. I do impress. That was the legendary hero. I was kind of thinking it was. Like he was riding with the Demigris, right? The new hero. It looked like he was riding with the Demogriffs. Me at least. But it might have just been normal Demogriffs. It looked like normal Demogriffs. That's good. Uh, oh, you're my free army, right? Yeah, you're my free army. We're going here to check what the hell's happening up here. Three nas. Okay, they have two cities here too. Okay, I probably need a real army down there. Hmm. Here's our Buckner. Oh, I, I'm not into the <laughs> Lord that much that so I can actually name them. But it, it, yep, that might definitely be it, right? Uh, where is Bolt Farm recruiting? Not you. Do you have an army here? No. You own most of that. Uh, I guess we need to kind of screw you up, right? I can actually take it up. Oh, it's tier 5 with full wall, too. Oh, what do you have in this army? Lots of infantry and artillery, I guess it's fine. A Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> Everything dies now. That's a chunky fortress. Mechanical war steed. You know what I m wish for the most? Either a new model for war horses, or they actually change their animations. Because I feel like Warhorse animation is so garbage. Like it basically makes everything worse if you put on a Warhorse. Like they can't fight them up. Like give them freaking... Maybe not as good as the Chaos Pony animations, but something a little bit better. 
I would love that. Like, give me a reason to want to use a horse on a character. Because all the War Horses animations are just so bad. Yeah, that was an anger in there. They might give the engineer a land ship. Like, I wouldn't be super surprised about the land ship if they gave him a land ship. Like, they gave a lot of the new characters good mounts, right? Like, all the Chaos Dwarfs have good mounts. They gave the birdies to the Cathay Spellcasters. And, uh, Inch, I guess, didn't get a super good mount. What else? I feel like they've given a lot of characters good mount options now from the new stuff they made. Like, not actual garbage mounts. Yeah, but I, I would be happy with a War Horse upgrade. That would make me happy. Like, give me something that is a, at least adjacent to the Chaos War Horse. That would be uh, fine for me. Like, so they don't just sit there and die in melee. Oh, it's actually this map? Okay, you made it easy for me. But yeah, like the Exalted Champion on the disc works super well too. I feel like he he worked super well on the disc, disc mount. And he works well on this horse too because it's a Chaos Pony, so it's a good one. Yeah. And this we could actually probably shoot on the wall with. See anything? I got a hit. Yeah, you guys are definitely firing, but that doesn't do shit when you're firing there. Can I actually fire on this thing with us? I think it has a dread quake or actually breaking a gate. I don't know. Artillery is doing stupid amounts of damage right now, though. That's Slayers. Okay, yeah, you should not be built by Slayers. Not be by Slayers. Fight. Yep. Oh my god, he does nothing? Like, actually nothing? Now, oh, stop firing my freaking... I should probably send a couple of you guys here. Oh, we got artillery. 
You have artillery? Where? Oh. Uh, big boys. There is so many choppers here. I just realized. Let's go up here. And Ow. Ow. Did not realize he had this much idiot infantry. Or shitty artillery. Okay. You slowing me? Oh yeah, you are. Oh fuck, they threw all their crap? You're not supposed to throw all your crap before I was in. Uh, that's what we get for free fire, I guess. Is you only not a flurry? No, you're not. I'm grateful too. Okay, you're you're done here. That's good enough. Get the fireborn out here and then we just send you guys back. Iron breakers. More iron breakers. Okay, I need to keep track on where you're actually firing. Good. Let's see if we can get a couple of you guys to actually get in here. Yeah, that's this is what I wanted to kind of know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Son. Yes. Oh my god damn it! I did target you somewhere else. Did not freaking target you right inside my shit. I am 99 freaking percent about that. Okay, you guys go out. Okay, 
Hey, do that stuff. Okay. Okay, who do we have that's not freaking dead, pretty much? Okay. At least we're in now. Okay, where the hell are you going? You're going in here because it's fun. Yes. Um... Here's just gonna be blocks here for you guys. Yep, dead. You're still hunting that freaking chopper. Mm. Yeah, left. One million choppers in the back. Are you still in combat with him? Just following you? Come back, come back. I know where you're shooting out. I miss. Would you kindly? Ah, I choked. Beeping fire at twelve. Yeah, I but I had did order them. No, to freaking shoot, so. I know it's a bad move, but. It should be fine. Okay, is there a Slayer somewhere here? Uh, did you put a Slayer somewhere here? Anybody? Here's your last unit. They're broken. Where did you put your boys? It's the last boys. Something that is not broken. I have no idea where they were. Except for on a couple of unfortunate shots from freaking Dreadquake. It's a good fight. I think 90% of the damage I took was from my own craft. Uh, no, actually, the these guys actually took damage from their artillery, but didn't actually go kill straight away. Okay, uh, let's build the tower. I didn't get the wall. Good. Didn't get the wall. Yeah, we're pretty much good next turn anyway. 
Drazoth. And that's our purpose. Why do I have you? Oh, you're my scout. You're my scout. There's a lot of vampires down here. Are you still, like, super high rank? Oh, yep. You're up to one now. We're up to one now. 30 settlement. So you passed two. Or, or the last one. I wouldn't actually mind fighting some vampires just to see how many uh, how many kills we can get with Dreadquake for funds. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll build up there. Because I don't have it anywhere else, you're right. So. Yeah, I don't actually have it anywhere else, so let's go for it. You... I wonder if you'll join. Leave me. Would you join Slayer King War? No. Would you join a Sigmar War? No. You get fed. Uh, yeah. Grom actually saved uh, saved him this time because now it looks like Grom's dying to Bretonia though. But Bretonia gets crazy late game if they actually recruit their good stacks, right? So Grom deleted the Empire. Very, very early, Grom actually deleted the Empire, so they have not been alive. He did kill Gelt, but uh, Grom killed the Empire, which is super rare. I've never seen that before, for me at least. That was the big part there, I think. So that made it like super easy for him to do kind of whatever he wanted. Did your mage hit 20? Dead. There's no point in taking an ace out by Hellhammer since Astrogal has a cheaper and better version. Okay. I have so many items. Yep. Yeah. Your manip is. Okay. Mm hmm. And a sort of bloodshed. Uh, talisman. Oh yeah, we did get a talisman on preservation. Pretty humble. Does Astra have one? Oh, he has his own. Bad. Oh yeah, he has his own too. Okay, so basically anybody can get this. Basically anybody can get this. DK actually has a pretty shitty one. He only has a Dawn Stone, so congratulations, AK. But you do have this, I guess. I don't see no arm. Anyway, I don't know if you find anything there. Talisman. Is the fist talisman the best I have? I kind of like that on the mage just now. Kind of nice. Radiant, like, perfect figure. Yeah, care about that. Uh, sort of healing. And I guess we could do a Book of Ashur. Fine. Any do more than yet, but he already has the good stuff. Still have not remembered to test out the demon flask. Nineteen, dude. Is coming down here to 
striking armies there. Loker is fighting uh I remember this name. Rats are going for Lomin at least. The full stack there too. And he is defending Silver Pinnacle with both stacks, okay? And there's Thoric again. Is dark echoes the one? Simple training. Perfect vigor for a bull centaur seven. Bail oh we finally actually got a bail towers. I think we're still overcapping either way. I must do um yeah we kind of have everything I need I know we are oh, let's boost this tournament star up some dudes here so we can boost more stuff. Or I just move stuff there. That would work too. Um was this own Sworn? Sworn Go. There we go. Um, have a thousand here. That's just my gate that I actually put in, right? Uh, let's see. Labor. I might just put everything into a gate. I do know it. You looked at the nice little trailer. Maybe I should put everything into a gate since we're kind of overdoing it anyway. I can put more in there. Though. Like this is so much over what we actually need everywhere. That should give me an insta build for pretty much everything I'm building. Give me more ornament. Uh, I... I'm gonna build this two, boost that, build number two, boost that two, this all, boost that, boost, and I'm out, okay. Now we're making another 600. Have you missed it? Boosting this one. And we're switching. Do anything? Yeah, I might as well build it. Okay, we have most of the things I actually want here. We got a thousand labor still, so. Seems like it's so bad. I actually could build the upkeep thingy here, but it's fine, I think. Uh, 
And then we can burn through public order. And it's still 700 left. Can just move that away then. Before I use it. I not use it. And that's a hundred left. Hundred left. That can fit there. So that's another three thousand ornaments per turn. We could make something stupid overpower now, I guess. What kind of a uh, hellforge things we have left? To do caps. We save for a couple of turns. We can just do caps. Uh, so we have Unbreakable and that on Kadai. Perfect Vigor would be nice. That would cost me 500. I'll do it. Faskard Brodni Udiol Talai! Like forever. Um, what do we have? War Machines? Full Centaurs? Drink for Flush? That's probably the only thing I really need on them. Barrier would be cool, I guess. Forged again. Oh, you can make them so you can restore them by the Demon Smith. I actually didn't know that. That must do... Drink more flush. Uh, I could take barrier too. It's only 150 anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm? What are our missile then? Aggressive fire, 400. And. Two attacks? Three? 600. Or we'll buy it. Aggressive fire. Infantry! I don't know. Maybe I should take a little bit of shield pill. L4 job keep 2200. I want to switch places on these two. It's gonna delay me a little bit, but I want to do it. Mm, he cannot beat that, right? He's a mark class. He could do that one. Or he should. Maybe he shouldn't be able to attack that straight away, I think. Was there any movie reference in that trailer, by the way? I was looking for it, but I couldn't actually find anything. Like, a lot of the trailers have been, like, movie referenced, right? And I could not be any. That one. Is this gate gonna be insanely full now? Hit it. Oh wait, Eastern Steps. Uh, I should probably know how that on. Western Badland. Probably not. So Eastern Bastion is where we're gonna put everything in then. And Stubo, you need to get immortality, but this is a pretty great marching stance, but that is just freaking Slayer. Nothing here is immortal. We do have two pretty good artillery. We have a lot of guns. They're pretty good. I don't know which kind of map we're looking at here, right? We have a lot of magic. None of you are immortal. S but one Draken or I think it's something like that. Vampire lady. Or she was at least. Trom. She is also doing a Hold again. 
Beta Bajuna? No, that's not that one, right? Doing the AoE uh, weird thingy from Death Magic. And uh, thingy. Death. No, oh, she's a Death Mage. Purple Sun. Purple Sun. He's doing a Purple Sun at the gate, like straight up in the DLC, right? Yeah, but I, you, I saw pretty much exactly what I was expecting, though. Like, unit-wise. I, I had no, like, idea about the Nurgle stuff, but the Dwarf and the, the Empire stuff was basically exactly what I thought it would be. Pretty much. Is there any way you survive this? No, nope. good. Oh, that was Sorgrim. I actually didn't see that was Sorgrim. That's 24, dude. Harazobrin! Uh, okay. Where's the rest of you? AK? You need to deal with this. Can't have a little dwarf city right here. Yeah, sure we can make ornaments. So you guys did not... Are you too wounded to do anything here? Oh yeah, you are. You probably are, aren't you? You probably are too wounded. I don't know if he can. Pretty decent Dark Elf stack. Not like super. Especially the freaking Ashen unit he recruited. Okay, Subo. Uh, I kind of want to do this. Do you have a wall? You do have a wall. So that's three stacks. I am probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take this and see if they attack me instead. That gave me immortality too. At least on Subo. Uh, what do we have? We have a lot of dwarves, so this one is probably not bad. Subo, let's see. Armor of Destiny. And weapon we can give you. Bloodshot, I guess. And do we have him? Um, the dome's down there. And then uh, healing potion. Oh, it's actually my last. I did merge a few though. That doesn't make any sense. Same one, same thing. Book of Ashura, I guess, on. The banner is for Hulk Goblins, right? War Machines. And the Racer. Very good. Lichborn. Flame. Action White Trade Towers. Fine. Huh. Okay. Get a war banner too. That's for fun. Dry strong. A lot of eighteen characters here. Oh yeah, we have to fight Slayer King here. But at least no he that's an okay army, actually. Let's figure out how to do this. Here we But he doesn't have any Slayer Garrison, so that's nice. 
Actually, Pyrrhic without anybody dying. No, I don't think we're close to getting bloody or anything, but... Okay, what's the landmark here? Uh, death flow. Yeah, sure. AK, you were. Yeah, we take HP. You're out of leveling. Or you, right? Yeah, you have everything I need. Just take the horses. You're out of leveling. You're a leveling too, actually. Else? Metal mage somewhere? Oh, you should probably be out of leveling as well. See it? But you, yeah, you're out of leveling. You're not moved? Soul piece? You succeeded even with the diva? Everybody levels up. All the game. Anybody else? Oh, I'll start out to call level up. Hellfire Ordinance. Hey, okay. now, is it turn? Yeah, it's turn. That's gonna take a while to recover, actually. Uh. I guess it's fine. They could go up here, right? Definitely possible they go up here in the north. That's the last two dwarf cities. Three dwarf cities. Oh yeah, I'm missing this one to Akron. Oh, never mind. Okay. That should be. Oh yeah, if you're interested about the early access stuff, it's gonna be around the 17th will be the first one, and it will be FLC, and the DLC will be on 25th, or the second, ish. So in a, in a week ish, we got the first look. Volkmar is asking for peace. No, good. Got a pretty, actually, okay stack. Or... Where are you going? Not going anywhere. Ambush. Oh my god, he actually took him out. I did not think that Dark Elf army would, would take uh, Thorgrim out, or uh, not Thorgrim. I did not think that guy would actually take him out. Fernal Iron Sworn. Pretty cool. Marink! Stratsta Ara! Takazak! Actually, plus I'm getting like 400 per turn. I'm never gonna go out of that now. Never gonna go out of that from now. Okay, so we are missing that great anyway. I could give Death Forge to them. 
Is it worthwhile here? Really? Yes, friendly. No aggression only. We're looking on the overall power bar now. Sylvania went down to three. We went up to two. Session is five. Legion of Chaos is freaking sick. Lo what news? The lady is seven. Red last defenders is on ten now all of a sudden. How the hell did that happen? I guess everybody else is going poop. He is fighting Kairos too, and he's still on ton. What if we got a ritual army to just boost him up? Maybe. Everything here is going right, right? Yeah. You work on undead. Are we going with uh, you, the. Did we go down there? No. Oh, you actually had a couple of dudes here. Three dudes, even. You take me for a wazak. How you doing, BBS? Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. A lot of things people wanted, so... I'm not built anything here. Not a single thing. Okay, Elstergoth, we need to deal with the player. You actually got discovered. That is so many Slayers. I wonder what kind of battlefield we have here. Then for Hyper to War DLC? I don't know. How long has it been? So just because the lady is drawing a flying a dragon. I feel like Suba could do this, right? That should be fine. Um, Jaskara. Oh yeah, you need to fight. Oh, you actually got immortality. Did I give you anything good? Uh, I don't think I have anything better for you to get in that slot anyway. I don't merge a couple of things, right? I can do it, trust me. We'll go for it. Let's see if we can get some, some fun stuff here for you at least. Another Executioner's Act. Not exactly what we want. Another Gauntlet. These Gauntlets are good though. Um, These Gauntlets are good. I don't think I've ever had this many items in a campaign ever. Black Inargam. I guess that is technically better than what you have, but... Dwarves have too many items. I don't think I would ever say that. Or at least if you're trying to actually get something specific. Obsidian. I wonder how the thunder barges will be. And the land ship.
Do any green crappy armor I can merge? I have something more, right? I guess we could get the under control here. I have loads. I got an armor of the forge. I can merge them. Roll leaping. Okay, I think this is super good, but there is so few caster lords. Like, these things wouldn't... Like, they're a good item, but they're just so few. Malignant Totem. It says... Mask of the Fern. Who has that equipped? I don't know, but that's a crappy item I'm merging it. Oh, there we go. Talisman of Preservation, we got one more. I actually know who actually wants it. At least we have one. Drazot. I'm pretty happy with your thoughts, sir. Okay, all your boys are actually mortal, so we don't need to worry about them. And let's let ensue before the uh, player fight them. I think it should be fine. Eric victory. Uh, magic attacks. We have that on all our guns. So... Yes, we put it on Lord, maybe? That on you. Flaming attack. We have that all on the guns. Too. Red Quake is actually not flaming? I could do with it. Wait. Right. Leadership. One of the normal dwarfs. Let's see if we have a good map. They weren't people betting that Tomricon would be the free DLC rights? That was what people thought at Stark, right? It was actually the main lord. There's gonna be another Nurgle boy that's free. I can make something weird here. Can I make a funnel? Epidemus, whatever is the free? Okay. I thought people thought Summercon would be the free, but maybe I'm, I'm remembering wrong. Okay, so I have one Infernal Guard and one Infernal Guard Iron. If I put you guys here with a couple of dwarfs on the side, will they go for my dwarfs on the side or will they go into the middle? I basically make the same thing on this side. Put you in here too. I do have three bale fires from you guys, I guess, too. I actually haven't tried this before with this many guns. See how it turns out. Maybe I want to do more like this. Just in case they actually come in, right? Like, maybe more? That will kind of be the protectors of the Fireglaives. I feel like this should work well if they actually go into the middle, right? A 
That's a nasty hit. Uh, let's send you Bruce out. I want them to come to me. I want to see if they actually want to attack in the pattern I want them to. Give you a little bit angled. They might actually kill each other though, these two blunderbusses. There's definitely a risk that they will actually kill each other, right? There is definitely a risk that they will kill each other. Oh wait, you don't actually have... Oh, you guys only have Lamasus? Fuck. I thought you all, all had to be a fire. Oh wait, do you have a bolt thrower? Fuck, I didn't even see that. I'll just do with that on you, actually. Okay. Let's see if they go into it. Like, I feel like they should want to go into this since there's so much range, but I feel also that we should be able to kill them before they do it. We also have, like, a super to go in for it if we need to. Okay, you guys are done. Uh, hammers. Mind Slayers. Oh. It's a very small army list out right now. But the reinforcements will come in. We'll just go kill their... Let's go kill the artillery. We'll see if this works out. That's how it's directed on the hammers. Yep. Look at their guns in the mind. They kind of seem like they're avoiding the, uh, the middle. No. Okay, you can't really shoot there yet. Yeah, they definitely want to gather here anyway. Nobody coming in the middle. First, at least. That damn shop versus. Oh, ho, 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 he ran into you guys. They did bomb out my Infernal Guard, though, which sucks. That definitely sucks. Okay, you guys are gonna go around. Attack the cannons. Okay, this did not turn off well since they kind of ran from here. Oh, you're sitting right in there. Maybe I should have made them slightly smaller so the guns could actually help. Maybe I want something like this. They could have pulled in these guys just a little bit. So they could help on this side. Maybe. I think I should have had these guys a little bit more where I have the first, right? So they could kind of crossfire in.
But I think it's actually working pretty great overall. They do seem to tend to avoid it though, weirdly enough. Did you just freaking nuke my own shit when I moved you? You little shit. Okay, that's... that was not good. I just moved you. Crap, you're in there. Can you get out? They are just avoiding this guy like the plague, though. They're literally avoiding this guy like the plague. now though. Okay, sort of. With some fixes and not too much friendly fire, I can make it work. I don't know why they avoided the middle so hard though. Friendly fire accident, but overall. They really concentrate around the flying like stupid much. Enemy, yeah. Red Quake. I think one of the units actually did not get friendly fired here. I think what you didn't. Or I didn't actually see you get hit. But I saw the other guys get hit. Got a lot of XP though. I've got a lot of XP. You don't actually have any items either. Probably why we were a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Not. This is the better use for you. I'm down, no okay, I did have no veterancy on you guys. One on Baras. English. <sighs> Three turns. I can get a normal dwarf in one. Not likely. I'm a rune lord, not there is smith. no way I can ultra all that, right? Oh, of healing. Gromadrazul. Guess we can give that to you straight away. I'm 
probably got enough money to play this. Wait. Pyrrhic. It dies. Uh, yeah. Infantry is not feeling super well though. I kind of want to try it again, but I don't have a lot of units to actually block the dam. Not a super good map for this, though. So, I want to do this again. I'll do a slightly shorter. I guess you guys are pretty wounded now, too. But so you can actually shoot in between, right? So then I would have, like, you guys. Not here. You guys are way too wounded to actually be in the fight, so you might just go down. Like you guys here. You're gonna have to chug a potion as soon as you freaking get in. Actually got a bail fire on you too. Okay, you're good enough to come out and play. fine for now. Okay, you boys want you to kind of be here. Like preferably kind of I would like to be in that spot, but I don't think we can make it in time. Yet, so we don't need to hurry just yet. Metal... Do we have shot? Yeah, we do. I don't actually know how they're gonna... Why are you walking? Run! I do. 
fly in and deal with her one catapult. We do have a lot of freaking corridor, so... Actually, I don't even need to fly in to do that. Like... Did that do no damage? That was a bug there. That did no damage. Whatsoever. Gotta put free fire on your own again. up for the flanks so freaking hard anyway oh that's a nice juicy hit uh maybe we go ahead and fight these guys just to get some get them to kind of knock like stack up or stack up a, a little bit earlier move you in. We stop a lot of them early. I don't really, really want a flag though, more than anything else. Really, really, really want a flag. I think this is a better idea, having the range so they could help the other front lines. They're actually dying now though. I think that was a better idea. We had it too wide on the first fight.
this is what he wanted to do, probably, then. And I would like to have some more infantry, but they're just so freaking damaged. Six infantry should be enough to cover that, and we have three artillery, and a lot of characters don't want to. Let him chase around here, killing stuff. But maybe we can just have to resolve the city, hopefully. I hope at least we don't have to play that. We maybe we can get a little bit of a global recruit off just to fill up our ranks. If we're lucky we might actually get the recruitment building, but I don't actually know if he had it here. We can like there's three hundred left in a settlement garrison. That's not a lot. That should be out resolvable without any losses. I can take this to this Do they have? They actually do have infantry recruitment. If that's actually work. Of course, he killed one on uh, Infernal Guard anyway. Anyway, I can make that the knock guy knock guy. So you can make them not die. A little bit of jiggling. What would make you? maybe magic attack help? You? I'm not freaking. I guess you're dying, none. Not playing that seed for just because of that. Oh, we got that building instead? Okay, uh, I guess we could just boost the crap out of this. Uh, maybe? Yeah, I could, I could probably boost the crap out of this, right? That should be fine. No, no problem. We just boost the crap out of this and we'll, uh, we'll be fine. Three thousand in Eastern stuff. Got six thousand in the gate. And what the hell is this called again? Silver Road, right? No, wait, that's that's Dorgrim's place. Reset. Blasted wait. Yeah, I would never guess that. Lasted wait. Lasted wait. Lasted wait, sir. Okay. So. I don't know. I can get these down to one turn global, right? If I build the artillery building. That should be enough to boost this. That should be one turn global now. Yes. So we can get infernal. Oh, I have so many infernal guards. I think it's time to say goodbye to you guys, then. Like, you, you turf served me well, but I want infernal guards now. That will give me one extra than I actually need. No wait, no, that, no, no, that's exactly six. Never mind. Okay, I can actually try this out again with a little bit better units. I want guns, because that's what we're doing. Eighteen for you. Sorcerer's Curse. 21. Your face. The crappy stuff I can give you just a little bit quick. Grass Cleaver. I don't know if that actually matters. Um, or. And. Or. 
money. Twenty one. First, first. They will not really care about that, right? Um, yes, missile versus. Hey. I don't think I have any extra healing potion. At the moment. I have no casting plan. Or I have like 49 forbidden rods. Digging on toad. Any talismans that are like even healthy good? I'm gonna scroll leeching. I haven't done another one in my. No. Dark Mace. Leech Garbage. Leech Orb's pretty garbage too. Okay, armors. We should have an armor fortune. Over. Close. Yeah, we definitely armor. Sensor blade. Yes, we can do a winds of power. Guess you can get that if they ever cast anything. Hey. Draj da baraku. Okay, so this is a money zone technically. If I need it, that was a money zone. Very good money zone, too. Tagrungron Apgru! Faumansia Nunku! Okay. We have pineapple here, too. Where does pineapple actually need to go? Nowhere, right? I guess actually, the book fixes that. Final bed doesn't need to go. Just run you up here, Don. So you can have one army there. How many cities? Is that your last three now? It is your last three. Hell yeah. I'd probably like to sit there one more turn with you. Just keep you. more safe. Your mode. Can block Thorgrim, right? Or that's actually not Thorgrim. Okay, so we can block him. Thought I am coming up. And yeah, that's throughout this going there. We might actually get a fight there next turn. And we'll go up and scout with you. Okay, good. Rebellion. Cool. Uh okay, we're gonna have to send some boys to Broken Teeth. Gonna have to send some boys to Broken Teeth. Broken. Okay, here we go. Thanks. I should have done a while ago. I should have sent a dude with the uh, fast travel point to the other side and see who is actually who on that side. Oh, he actually took two hell cannons from me. Smart move. A really good move from him. Oh, there's Volkmar too. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're gonna have a nice little three-way here, looks like. Uh, he does actually have Slayers in one of the stacks. He has a few Slayers. Let's go. One of the armies are coming in from behind us, and the other two is in the back. Thing. Let's see who's coming in here. One and fifty. We're at the same time. I can't. I guess we're going like straight on. This is only fans. Yeah, it's not my fault. They're coming in with three stacks. From both sides. It's just how it is. Telling it like I see it. I can put the artillery kind of here too. Otherwise, they won't ever get there in time. These guns will probably do absolutely nothing like they usually do. But maybe. Maybe today is today. Yeah, we actually have kill fires here too. I like this stock. Incredibly stupid good. Oh. I like this stack. It's expensive too, so should be good, right? They are so slow. Even though they're going at full speed. I think we want to go forward with the hell count on a little bit. They have their flame cannon, so it does nothing to us. We have like 70 fire resist, don't we? Uh, I am okay landing right in here. Oh, shut up. Boys are in. It's layers. It is layers. Okay, you are gonna bombard here. In the middle of the reinforcement. Hey, my dude is not feeling it. Looks like my guns are actually getting here. They might get to do something. I'm going challenge back out a little bit. You need to move away from here. Got a deal fire. Right here. See if you can regen a little bit of your shield. Oh, 
Big buff up. Let's blow shit up. Oh, there is so many range back there. Uh, that might actually be worth another one of these. That hit exactly on you. I wasn't supposed to hit that. Okay. Um, they have no come here yet. No, you guys can just turn around. Don't really have anybody good at killing that thing now. You fighting chop? Oh yeah, you're actually fighting the choppers. Those gyrocopters. Okay. Gyrocopters. Ah. At least it wasn't too bad this time, the friendly fire. You shoot on like something that actually is good. I guess we're left class chopper. Ow. What the hell was that? Is that... All oh, the cannons and they're perfectly lined up. Actually, perfectly lined up. The cannons to get, like, perfect shot. All cannon. They do cannon players. Oh wait, armor losses. Never mind. I would like to murder a little bit of them, though. That was cannon shots, though. Sideways there. I would have been proud if I did it myself. There's a skill here. Mm. That's actually, yeah, that might be a little bit shit time. No, that's actually pretty good, I think. Yes. Pretty decent still. Get that healing potion going. Oh, I forgot that thing. Okay, I need to try this ability before... Before everything dies. Okay, so... It's around him. Does four damage. Magic and mostly armor piercing. Gives a rupture too. Let's see if we can gather up a few of the surviving slayers around him and see... What it actually is. Oh, you guys stop doing shit. Damn it! Don't kill the last dudes. There's only one left there. It's only two left there. Oh, that one's gone. It has a very small area though. 
Uh, don't shoot. Basically dead, but at least I'll finally get to click the button. Okay. Oh, it's a quake. Oh, that looked cool. No kill the last layer, so. Oh, that out. But the second army does quit. So if you inflict enough damage while keeping your own units healthy, your power bar will creep over. And when you hit a certain point that is called army losses, the other army loses a hundred leadership, which is usually enough to make them round. Uh, there are some certain units like Slayers that are unbreakable that usually have to kill anyway. But uh, we killed two stacks, basically. And that means and we lost very little. Like, we have a lot of big boys here, so our power is going down. So power is determined by how much magic you have. We have tons. How much ammunition you have left. We probably had it. We don't have too much range, but we had a lot left. And how damaged your units are, right? And they were really, really damaged when... Because we killed these two before anything else, right? And this army who came in last... I think this was the last army, right? Yeah, that must have been the last army. Yeah, because we killed the lords in these two. And this hadn't really anything left by the time we were dealing with them. So we had enough power to just push through them. That's no replenishment. It could still be. So, if you're playing the game not on Legendary, you will actually have a bar on the top meter there. Like, in the battle. It will be somewhere up here. And when the bar fills out, that is army losses. But you just don't see it in Legendary, right? The only difference, really. Is the Rogue. Yep. It's just... Basically, so you don't have to kill everything on the field to win. That's what it is, pretty much. Still seven turns. Fine. Okay, Volpar, I would actually like to take on with you, right? Oh, you're actually just in range, too. Perfect range. Oh, Probably because we had this built during this turn, we actually got the movement stuff right. Yeah, I didn't really calculate for it. Uh, how did low carry? I pulled him. So, if you want your allies to actually do good, you need to pull them with you, pretty much. So we are a military alliance with this guy, so I pulled him through the territory. They kind of have a little bungee, bungee cord around them. And if they don't own territory, somewhere in between where you're fighting, right? So I started giving him a little bit of territory here. That gives him a longer reach for wars. And then we uh, gave him territory here. We had a little bit longer reach, so that means he will actually fight with me in the front line. If you don't give the AI territory from time to time, they will just camp and do nothing in your base, right? Like a lot of players kind of just say like, oh, the AI never does anything with their military alliance. That's probably because you have taken the territories to yourself and they don't really want to be too far away from their territory, right? So if I would just not give him territory a little bit here and there, he would just be sitting here right now, doing nothing. You just have to give him a little bit here and there. That will make it work. Like, this was a really big stretch, I think. I usually give them a little bit more, but it was good territory for me, so I kept it. But yeah, normally they probably don't go further than, like, around this. Like, if they have a city here, they probably won't go further than, like, this.
he won't take any shit as a Jason. Yeah, he will. Like, I don't, I don't know exactly how they... How they did it now. With the new... Like, the, it, that's part of the new AI behavior they added in. It's like, sort of new. It's Warhammer 3 at least. Before, they could just travel all over the world. They didn't care a shit where they actually were. But now they care about settlement. Or they care about, like... Let's say if... If they have a city here, right? They have a reach of, let's say, just for example, like, this is their reach. Currently. If they only have a city here, they have a reach of, like, this. But if I give them a city here, like we did, now they have a reach of this. And if they have stuff here, now they have a reach of this instead. Because they won't go out of their, like, maximum distance. Like, I've seen it in multiple campaigns, and I, when I did... Like most players do, take everything for myself. And allies don't really make any sense if you don't make any use of them, right? Not that these guys are really doing anything for me, but... It's a bit fun having them with me, at least. They have done some stuff. They actually beat a couple of good armies. So yeah, we gave 8 peaks to Skaven here, so they would actually be here. So like if we were to fight somebody. Like, they haven't done much. But they are here, and they have a lot of armies. Um, the problem now is they have low tier cities, right? So their, u their units to recruit here is going to be fairly low tier. I gave them a tier 4 here. But um, they don't want to build buildings. I don't know why, really. Maybe because it's an orange territory for low tier. I'm guessing mountains are orange. They think he has money, so... He hasn't built much we will make you comfortable. anywhere. He hasn't actually built... I guess this is recently tier 5 though. Yeah, maybe he is broke. He isn't fighting much, so he probably doesn't have a lot of slaves. He hasn't actually built a lot of the arts and houses. Are mountains red for Loki? Okay, that's probably why then. I didn't know mounts were red, I thought it was yellow. They're probably a bad give to him then. But there ain't much more than mountains in this region. I guess Wasteland here too. I don't know if that's better for Lokir. I'm guessing Wasteland is pretty bad for him as well. I think there's basically just mountains and Wasteland, right? I know he has he has orange on him. No, maybe he has green. Maybe he got green when he got moved to Cathay, right? On Temperate. There's actually a fair bit of temper than Cathay. And I want to say... Pirate went for conquest in the desert, but I think pirates actually have desert climate, right? But yeah, they do behave a little bit weirdly when you give them shitty territories, so they ain't much more to give them. Like, the rats can basically be anywhere. They are actually building, so the reason probably he is not building is probably broke. Let's see how much money he has. I'll trade you something valuable. Um, what is valuable? Blade Rock is not valuable. I need some recruiting city. So, Black Rag, I think I built some stuff in. Can I trade that to you? I can't. That's worth 150. He does have 102,000 gold? And he still isn't building stuff? He's actually super rich. I don't want to skip an ass. And we have pumped money into him from time to time because I thought it was broke when he didn't build stuff. Yeah, let's uh, trade it to Skaven. Uh, let's try Snitch to see how much money he has hitting on. You come to Snitch. What will, Snitch, will you say? Right? You have 3k though. You're broke. You're definitely broke. You only have 3k. Why the hell is Loker not building stuff then? This is not even built either. He should be fine now. Really weird that he that it took this long for him to get tier 5 too. Ferocious. He built stuff here. 
temperate. Yeah, so you actually do have temperate, so maybe you would do good in like Empire or something. Drazot. Minu. Mm -hmm. I need somebody to deal with you. And I have nobody down here. AK can go do it. AK can go do it. This is a super easy fight. Apparently you have one bow here, not two. I actually have three peasant. Your normal empire dudes would be much better. The three freaking peasant units I've taken here. How fast can Volfar die? Like he's pretty chunky, right? How fast can we shoot down Volfar? This map, by the way. Big rock in the middle. Oh, is this? Okay, well, let's try the tactic again. We have slightly uh, chunkier units now. Okay, so somewhat like this. Want you guys to be sitting there. There. Uh, let's not use our artillery too much. Just not have you on free fire. Because I want to give this a Go. Go. I want to see if you can reach the front line. You can reach the front line there. Wait, did I take the wrong dude? Oh, yeah, I took the wrong dude. You're supposed to be here. You should just walk into my definitely not a trap. I wonder if I should move you. Are you the reason they're not actually going in here in the middle? You have artillery. Okay, no you don't. Good. Good to know. A little bit uneven ground for guns though. And I don't actually think we need to flank protection here, but I'm gonna just try this again. So, are we okay with the range? Yes, we are. You need to be moved slightly this side. Actually, probably angling you would not be a bad idea for the damage. Okay, let's try this. We do, and make you slightly thicker too. Okay. I like this. No hook's gonna work well, but we'll go pen to the ground, really. This is not good ground for this. Need to be more flat. Any more flat-ish ground? It's slightly better here. Why 
What's on? Do you have a mage? Oh yeah, you do have a mage. Oh, oh, actually a lightning bolt. Okay, mage. <laughs> okay, that's fine. They're dying. Hey. Oh, what is They really don't want to go in here. Which is actually super interesting. Send you on the freaking knife. Oh, that's three knives. Oh my god. Uh, you guys just help out there. I'm actually really surprised that you don't send anything in the middle. I wonder if this is a Chaos War thing or if it's something else. That is working surprisingly well because the AI don't want to go in there. I wonder why they don't want to go in. I wonder if we should try a fight without putting the heroes in the front and see if it's the heroes or the other dudes that are actually doing it. Okay, let's go up to Thorgrim. I know he has a pretty good army. Or... Damn it, these guys have actually 60 melee defense now. Fully buffed up. 86 on the Iron Sworn. 7 on you. 96 on you? Holy crap, you almost have 100 melee defense? What can Iron Breakers get? 97. 97 melee defense on a Infernal Iron. What's the base freaking stats on you guys? 64. What's the base out on a Iron Breaker? I actually have slightly higher. 66. How are we getting this much? I know we got three from Volkmar, right? How are we actually getting this much defense bonus? Like, that's attack. That's five defense, though. Where are the rest of the crap? Game? And we got how much from ranks? Twelve from ranks. Oh, wait, thirteen from ranks. Uh, Subo, can you go up here? Oh, yes, you can. Grunzenta Barak! 
I'm, I'm supposed to do tier fives everywhere. It lost uh, 2,000 income and uh, raw materials now. Okay, what are we looking for here now? It's the last two cities of the dwarves. Do we have somebody I actually haven't done anything with? Dubu. Um, yep. Yeah, you have dwarves. Get that for you, and then we just continue with our tours. All of you boys. Looking for anything on you. Anybody else who freaking oh, wants to level up? Win. Anybody else? That's what I to level up to. What are we actually doing for you? Melee stuff, right? We're doing melee stuff for you. Defense is hate crap. Makas da Drash Kazad, Dale Castalan. Where did the guy go? That I've been blocking. Gain it, God. Oh, there he is. Unbag Agalu. Ok, Bailey. Amansia Nunku. Oh. Taking so much damage running running around in my corruption though. His army is just even if they don't take like the AI basically takes no attrition damage, but when they have to spend like five hundred turns in there, definitely uh, there for it. We missed an interception, I don't know where he went. It, what the hell? You managed to assassinate my level 44? Mage? Fuck it, me. Who did it? I saw level 34 at least. Eh, I guess we don't have any magic in this arm anymore. Start their campaigns. So, I have one. So, I think she will still start in Nuln. And I think they will move Geld. Maybe. It would be weird if she didn't start in Nuln. Because that's her kind of her thing, right? It would be a little bit weird if she didn't start in Nuln. But I guess they could put her somewhere else. But I think they will move Geld instead. Noturia! Or an street. Damn it. That's a lot of failures. AK is not here for a while. Southlands? 
I, I think Yelp should probably start somewhere here in the board lands anyway, but maybe they're gonna be out here. I don't know where they would put her. Except no. Like, the Epidemus dude, or... I guess they could kind of put him anywhere, right? Is there any... Is he tied to any place, really? And Malachi, I'm guessing he's going to be starting here. Here goes the one, right? And some, somebody already data, data mined that, that he's going to be starting here. Or was that just a guess, too? Just me being a battle stunk, yeah, yeah. I am in the camp that I like that she's not in Kislev. But it's just for gameplay perspective. Because I like, like, I, like she probably would have been around here, right? If she were to start, like, maybe a little bit towards the Chaos Regions more than the others. <laughs> like, Boris here, got Serena here and here. The gameplay, I think it's better that she is there. Maybe not lore-wise, but I think gameplay-wise, it's just better that she isn't where she's supposed to be, right? I have not upgraded Iron Rock here. I might send some dudes here. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a Nemesis Crown? Were they adding that this patch? The Nemesis Crown? They talked about it, but I can't actually remember. Who's down? FLC? Yeah, I think it was that FLC too, so it should be this. Maybe next to Red Duke? I'm just thinking, I know there's a small Nurgle faction around 8th star, right? Normally. Maybe they put him in the... Put him in down here because there's basically... Not a lot, a lot of things happening down here. There's a lot of lords, but probably the most dead area of the game, I feel. In my opinion, at least. But if they put her here, and let's say they put Malachi here, in the Mount of Zamorn. I don't know if it matters if these three are like sword of calls. Nurgle starts around it would be fun. Hmm? You know, I think they should move Kugat. Maybe they put him down here, the new guy, and move Kugat somewhere else. He's a little bit weird that he starts here. But yeah, it, the map is getting pretty filled though with lords. Where's where's the most empty place right now? I guess Cathay is the most empty area of Thunder Lords. I guess if you don't count Nakai down here, there's basically no one. Like, this is pretty filled. This is like only Rapan. Oh wait, no, Arkans here too. Border border territory, I guess is sort of empty. There's actually a pretty good amount of lords everywhere, right? That's Norska territory, that's kind of empty. It's just Ulfric and Dog, right? This whole Norska, there's nobody else on start, starts in this crappy territory. And like a little bit of Cathay down here. It's really not that many. I got two down here. I wonder if they put somebody in Lost Girl. 
We could put somebody on ult on too, but I don't know if there's any reason to do it or else to do it. Like it would be kind of nice sh shaking up the donut a little bit. Donut is very static right now. In my campaigns, at least. It's a gold mine, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think Stubo will be like going here. I think he can deal with that as well. That's a pretty shitty stack. There's nothing here. Okay. Um. Hey. Okay. Ardugal starts undrimgi. It's another empire army. Oh yeah, that's actually true. That is actually true. That space is barely empty. It's like up here-ish, I think, right? Withering Fortress. There's a minor Nurgle faction right here. Bullock here, Archeon there. I know. Won't be a... Won't be a super dark. It is uh, stat-based, sort of-ish. I think there's calculations if you actually want to do the exact thing, but I guess the counts, right? If you have... I'm pretty sure if you have 58 hit, you can overcome the defense, so you'd have to kind of overcome, but it's also some random chance to it too. There's always like a 5% chance to hit. It's not percentages, it's like... I don't know what you would call it. I think of it as like... I guess you can think of 100 as 100% if they have zero defense, right? If you want to think of it that way. Maybe it's not even, not even that way. Well, it was so long ago I actually checked that out. Wait, are I missing a two units now? What is missing in this army? They assassinated my mage. What the hell did I have? Or have I run 19 so long that I actually forgot about it? I guess I have. I wonder if that page is still up. Lee attack. I know I had it. Okay, there it is. I don't know if this is recent. Yeah, that's uh. But it's basically so it has initial boost and then you do melee attack and melee defense on top of it with a minimum 8% chance to hit apparently I thought it was 5 I thought it was 5 looks like it's 8 minimum chance Charge bonus is just a very, very little time frame. That's why I don't like using it. I think it's just too short of a time frame to be worth bothering with. Astro. No, this is Astro. Do you even anything on you? Do you have everything? I did nerf his set bonus, right? In the hotfix today. Yeah, 33 instead of 40. It's fireball. I don't actually know what I need on you. Yeah, you kind of have everything I need. 
But what the hell did they do? I must have run with 19 and just not bothered with it, I guess. Wait, are you actually going in for it? Oh, he died. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Like, that's a little bit too much for you, Loki. Here. A little bit too much with that. Alright, choose, choose. I have two choose in two armies, I think. You know, I actually never... Um... Can you... I don't know if that was a myth, but can you actually hook... Can you hook a Skullcracker with a normal Dreadquake? Okay, um... The organ guns. What kind of fight is this? I feel like I can probably win this, depending on what map it is. Oh, it's an open map. Fuck. I guess the organ guns would be shit. Do you have anything fast? I do have the summon, so... We'll do it. I actually never tried to, but weren't you supposed to be able to hook on on like a Iron Demon or a Skullcracker? You could hook on the unmounted artillery and drag them off to you or something? I just remembered that, but I don't know if I ever tried it. This is a thing that we're talking about that never actually did. Hmm. Okay, where do I want to be? This place is pretty decent. Got an okay tower. There's a the tower here. Okay, ta oh, okay. Well, I think we'll be on this side. You're my leader. So we can instantly build a tower. Might actually have to go out and deal with them. And we'll just build a tower there. I don't know if I want to take two, two sides or one. It would be better to take maybe just this side. We're going to be slow though, so we don't need to fight like straight away. Wagus! I need to keep an eye on you because you actually have the ability here that we want to use to uh, maybe actually send you out with me. actually gonna do that, so... Okay, hold you as wide as I could. Oh, 
I do manage to get like good hits on you guys. Well, that sucks. How did you get messed in here? Know how you actually got messed up in these freaking long beards. Oh, I hate these guys. They're doing this bullshit. See if I can get you guys back. I lost a lot of the help on my guns there. Something I would have liked not to do. I think we just go in with you. Not like 2k, I could pull this tower, I think. That was worth it. Artillery. Two of them here, which I don't like. Wanna be a Runesmith actually has like rune of fire and shit. I think I wanna do Build that organ gun. Build this. Hour. Then we let you guys up. We're floating extra. Be nice if that Rune Smith came here. He is actually coming in. He does have a rune, so he should be fairly easy to shoot Oh, 
Hammers and that stuff. Yeah, I just don't want him to do rap and ruin on my guns. Kind of the only thing I don't want him to do. can bait it on you guys. He is so freaking slow though. Oh, he's gonna come up and bomb us here, I think. You can get you into the gun range. Are you actually going in? Yeah, right. it. Didn't do much there. I'm missing the freaking dude now. Chop her down. Okay. Gonna have to move you so we can shoot you though. God damn it, you did not take a lot of damage. Did you take negation on yourself or something? Arm. No, got a really, really bad hit or something. That uh, looks a little bit better. Okay. I forgot about you. Sorry. 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 Yeah, I need a one more volley on you. Stop hunting me. Oh my god, look at that from <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I didn't think they would hit that guy. Running. Okay, so I broke my own crap. And I guess I killed like two units with my own freaking guns. God damn it. Okay, I actually need to kill him. Uh, you need to die. Good. Oh, he's faster than me now? That's bad. That's bad. Can you just rally and not... Oh. Not be going through my freaking line there. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Rally didn't stop. Yep. I almost too late on that one. Hold on. I should throw in the blockade, it's actually better. Technically better. Meet somebody. Go on the other side, by the way. You're doing what you're supposed to. Good. Not in stuff. Can't do this on a bridge, right? Oh. No. Can do a dread quake on the bridge, though, I think. 
to work. I can only fit one of you here. Looks like Dread Quake hit pretty well at least. That's where it's being so freaking sturdy. Somebody to sacrifice for the arm breaker. Uh, I need somebody to actually roll on him. Get some free damage there, at least. Actually, you guys could be sacrificed for throwing. It did actually bounce off the bridge. Oh, oh fuck, you can actually throw her. Uh, Use this bait. If you want to throw more, throw in these gobos. Well, they're here for getting completely destroyed. Okay, so he has like one or two charges left at best. Target. Aren't you supposed to be kind of armed all thing soon? Okay, that should be fine. Okay, I guess we'll go down and deal with the hammers now. They're gonna slaughter those dudes though. So. Oh, never mind. Arm losses. Okay, good. None of our cities are going for you. Well, we fully upgraded the walls though. Get those uh, Chaos Dwarfs instead of laborers. That definitely did help. I'll take the punishment if they attack again. Probably won't, but... Never know. 
Oh, we only have three units left. Okay. Think it's lurking there. Cool. Oh, you're retreating now. I wonder if we've seen start a war against the dwarfs here yet. Is that Kuzk? Arkean. You know, I planned this campaign and I was kind of thinking I should go and kill off all, all Chaos. Because they have a lot of good cities and stuff up there. But it just never happened. That's a rip ragtag army. So, I actually do need to play it. Don't want to lose, but I want to try our tactic again. Um, EK is pretty much in range there. Just around. Take out that crap. Okay. So, where do we have a steam stuff? Who owns this? No idea who owns that. Still clear down here. Most of it is still clear. Like Tickless area, no run. If it's slight change corruption here. Are you actually managing to hold him back? Yeah, yes, you are. Slovenia's going down again. We're two. We're missing one and three. One, three. And the nine. And ten now, too. I wonder if it's Malakid just sitting on one. I feel like it, since Kairos has not dominated everything down there, I'm gonna be guessing he's not doing super well with them. Thirteen thousand ornaments now. It does get kind of overkill after a while. Um, Astrogoth. Astrogoth, you already killed Slayer King, didn't you? Yeah, you have killed Slayer King. No, that should be enough to reinforce, right? Huh, not too bad. Oh no, Alcaraz Armist took a lot of damage. Slayer King dead. Okay, almost there. We just have one more thing to do. Mingle. And it's these two. God damn it if you confederate clan anger does so stupid now when I'm one city away from getting it done. I wouldn't be surprised if it actually happened. Isn't insta building here. It's, it's kind of always raw materials that I'm kind of going low on now. I guess because of all the factories.
Where the hell is Changeling though? You're still fighting Changeling, right? Yeah, you are. I wonder where he is. There's actually no corruption here. I've seen. Tara has seen corruption. I was wondering how the how the AI actually dealt with him now. And they kinda changed him a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do a fire line. Now I'm gonna take out their artillery first. Then we do a fire line without characters and see if they avoid it, like they did last time. Uh, they don't actually have too much infantry, I just see now, though. They do a garrison, too, so they should have infantry. Uh, okay. You are defensive and you're not free firing. Oh, they actually saved my information. We got a little bit fucked up, though. No way. Oh, it, it's because of that thing there. But it is pretty much as how we set it up. Fix this area a little bit. Okay. So I don't need to do much. Okay. Let's have characters on the side. Now. See if they leave the middle still either way. You go out and kill that. This. Kill this. Kill that. They're actually coming for me now. Hey, I want to be like here, I think. That can actually hit me there. I should fall. Okay, that should be fine. A chopper got completely dis. Is anybody coming into the middle? This is the question we are asking now, really. Uh, archers can be killed because they're not going to move anyway. They are kinda still avoiding the middle. Which is very weird, which makes this like a really, really good formation. You can use your gun at full speed and everything. They're still going for the edges. Yeah, look at that, he's just there going around. This is just super safe having the middle fully freaking open. I'll put you up there so you can give it a thunder that's flanking. It's ridiculously safe, even. This is actually working as well. Okay, 
Okay, you guys have fun. Go ahead. Not a single dude has got in for these guys. I wonder if they just have too much defense for it to be worth for the... Maybe think of them as like from point. I thought it might have been the heroes first, but that's definitely not the case. I think they're pretty even duo, by the way. They haven't stacked up my stuff this fight. Oh, I guess you're kind of helping, right? Your bombs. I keep throwing your bombs. And that's our muscle looks like. I think this behavior has been a thing for a while. I haven't noticed until like this campaign that they've been behaving this way. Not gonna actually. Here. You're in such a good pile there, too. Come on, bro. 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 There we go. So I'm thinking there might be two reasons, right? Either they have too much damage and defense for them to want to deal with them, because they have like 60 defense. That's pretty high for a gun unit, right? The sales and stuff like that has really, really bad defense. The sales are also really big, so they're kind of hard to fit that many in, but do. Two is probably as wide, maybe three at best. Like you can't go too wide, right? But it might have something to do like we have really good stats either way. Like these have so good stats for being hang on right now. Like 38 attack, we got even got suppression on the melee attack actually, I didn't know that. 60 defense. A good armor, decent amount of health too. But yeah, yeah, war fire throwers might actually be a pretty good for the sides if something comes in, but they're also kind of big. Yeah, I wonder what you can use. But like, if you're playing Empire, maybe using hand gunners. Do something similar to. Gonna be interesting. Pineapple. I think this is our last uh, turn before we win, actually. I think this is our last turn before we win. Oh, 
Madrazul. Good oh, holiday too. A lot of good characters. Run. Could be it. I kind of want to try it on another faction. Maybe just do a custom fight and see if they behave the same way. Going into your city. Good. Means you're dead too. Oh wait, you have that army too. But yeah, maybe we need two turns. Work is here. Aha az utangru. Did you? Frick God damn it, you keep assassinating my boys. Colonel Iron sporting a gun. Stop murdering my boys. Okay, but this should be his last city. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, give it a tower. I'm kidding. Marrinch! I don't know if we'll actually do anything. I will move, uh... Astral. Here. The unit coming in. That city's gonna be lost, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We are by far. I haven't actually done any of the like extra battles you can do. Total war. I'm good, I just wanna see it pop down. I have no defense in Dragon Ore Mine, so just go balls. No wall or no nothing. Okay. There we go. Got him. AK is finishing it. Yeah. AK is finishing it. Decisive victory? Well, they attacked three Skaven armies, plus a garrison. Didn't they think the garrison would join that much? And I guess. Oh, the rats retreated into my city. I think. They weren't on the way, right? There we go. Playing as Chaos Dwarfs, win a single campaign. Kirkarak destroyed. And we get... Ooh, that's a good armor. Runic Bracers of Skavor. And it's an Aura region. Oh my god. Up to 0.3%. So it's not like the best region, but it's pretty good. Or a region with immunity to, po to poisons and stuff. 
plus 20 fists. That's a really good armor. Um, let's see. Missile strength for infantry, war machines, and artillery. Passive Morgrim's Eye. And a buff to armor piercing missile. Plus 10% range. Hammer of Smidnir. Low. That's uh, okay, I guess. Long victory complete. How much would our guns go up to? I think we're fully buffed in this army with guns, right? Yeah, we're fully buffed and we have the rank 9, right? Yeah, the rank 9. So if I were to equip this armor... Uh, all units and... No, wait, not the armor. The... What was it? Also like... Uh, What was it again? Was it a runic item? Enchanted item, right? There it is. 20%. So. So we're going 67 and 98. That'll be over 100. Easy. Oh, it didn't update. You have to wait a turn for it to actually update. Yeah, or it might actually just work in battle. Sometimes they just work in battle. Raj Arbu. Hey. I am feeling pretty freaking done though. I'm feeling done. Been a long freaking chaos campaign, a uh, chaos dwarf campaign. And I did want to finish this. We will See, we have about a week, I think, ish, before um, before we maybe can get some access and stuff, do the new stuff, and we can check that out. So I don't actually know what we're gonna do in the intervening week. We'll see if we get some. What's here? Good. But yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of an early day today, and. Uh, I'll figure something out, I guess, until we get the next DLC up. Probably gonna be some posts and stuff about the new stuff uh, soonish too. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Or something. Bye for now.